What is up and welcome back to another video and for today's challenge I'll be eating some tater tots So I'm gonna go get the tater tots right now and I'll see you guys at the table <music> What is up and welcome back to another video and for today's challenge I went with Kroger's Tater Bites and the total calories for all these Tater Bites was a total of 3,520 Alright so challenge started in 3 Two, one, go. So for this challenge, I feel like I actually started at a pretty good pace and continued at a pretty good pace. At a certain point, I did get flavor fatigue, but continue watching the video to see whether I finished it or not. These tater bites were pretty good and I would recommend you give them a try. They're not that expensive, it was like two to three dollars per bag. And it contains about 110 tater tots in the bag. According to the bag. I put them in the in the tray in the oven and it didn't look like 110. But then again I didn't count them. So it could have been 110 but I'm not sure. So I don't know if you guys noticed but for this challenge I used a completely different technique because usually I'll grab one by one and put them in my mouth but this time what I decided to do was get a handful and then start chewing it and then use the water to help me swallow it and I think this this uh, technique was pretty good for me because I actually finished it I know it wasn't a lot, but at least I finished it in well under 30 minutes. Bless you, boy. So right here, getting close to the end, and I decided to put them in five because I thought this was gonna help me. And I would say it did help me, but maybe I would have finished faster if I would have just kept on going instead of taking the time to put them in five but I decided to do this just to help me out knowing how much I had left
right here finishing the last tater tot and thank you guys for watching and I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so there you guys have it. That was the four pound Kroger Tater Bites Challenge completed in 19 minutes and 25 seconds. So I'm actually pretty happy with my performance on this one. I kind of knew I was going to finish since the beginning because when I started, I felt like I started pretty good. And I knew that once I got into like the five minute mark, I knew that I was going to finish because... I had already finished a good amount and even if I went slow at the end I would have been able to finish and I finished in a pretty decent time at least for myself and I went by weight because and on the bag it says that each bag contains 110 pieces but when I poured it into the tray that I used to put it in the oven that did not look like 110 could have been but I didn't count them so I went by weight and each bag says that it weighs two pounds and I got two bags so that's four pounds plus all the liquid that I drank which I'm pretty sure amounts to a total of five pounds so I still know it's not a lot but with the time that I got I think it was a decent time still think I can improve a lot there's always room for improvement and I will try to improve but yeah other than that they were good give them a try and yeah, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Just remember, every Monday morning, I upload new videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next food challenge.